Boulevard. No, I'm going off a scripture. I wouldn't mind wearing a tank about common sense and business. It's not common sense. Because if it was common sense, everybody would be doing it. So, like, I have my own understanding what, of what you I feel would say with. modesty is, right? Dorn and it's not even my job to keep trying to figure that out. It's my job to just keep giving them encouragement in the word. Okay. Because if you focus on that part right there. You're talking about ministering, though. I'm just talking about. Oh, so if I go to the beach as a man, should I be able to take my shirt off? Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. With you. Biblically, if you a Christian, no. according to no scripture, way. God no tells us how to move. With the you don't I mean that's cool. No like no that. no, I'm going off of scripture. I wouldn't mind wearing a tank top on the beach, bro. I can be enticing with a suit on, bro. You're right, but then you look good. You got that suit on. You I mean, good. That's the part where we can't it's control people, it's, but it's, that's different. You can't control people no matter you what you. Think you think women ain't at the at the gym. It's a big difference. To me, it sounds like it sounds like it's all about like. What's the word? I'm Women go to the about gym too. It's not common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Because if it was common sense, everybody would be doing it. So it's not common sense. It's, it's more discernment, and you do have to seek for. I don't. See, I swear, I don't see a problem with you. You can wear a bikini to the beach, but you can't wear. You one ain't to walking the around your mom's neck. Like, it's not you, the place yo. for this. It's the but same this way. Is, it comes down to preference. You can't. No, I agree. It is. So dresses and pants are also. It's also culture. I agree. But even I mean, I don't disagree with that. Because they didn't. But just because it's culture doesn't mean that it's like that's not what we live let me, in. Let me say so this. If that was the case, we wouldn't do anything like nobody else doing. Y'all drive a car. Y'all, we on this podcast. No, 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 I was going to say, Ash need to take it. Ash need, need, need to button up them buttons. Number one, you need to get them, take them jeans off and get jeans with no holes in them. Yo, I, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can nitpick like that if I want to. No, I mean, no that's no, no, not. No. That's not what I get you. I get you. That's true. I can say that though. See, I don't have like stipulations for like. This is modest. This isn't modest. I don't do that. Like I have my own understanding what of what you feel I would say with. modesty is, right? But the primary goal and what I was saying was not to nitpick on should a woman be able to wear pants, da 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 da. I have another argument that could that people need to really think about though before mm-hmm. they just blatantly throw this out there like it don't matter. Mm-hmm. Because modesty is something that has to be discerned, it has to be God show me. I want to dress holy the way that you want me to. If you're not doing that. Then you don't care anything about um, the verse that tells you to what's say in like manner, also the, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair, or gold or pearls or costly array, but with Hold uh, on. which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Um, that's just a verse. But you but, just gotta know. Okay, what it means. but think about what you just read. That. That doesn't mean that's how you dress twenty four seven because they also adorn themselves with gold and silver. That was the and Egyptians, and they was wrong. No, it was not just the Egyptians. But if either you way, your Bible, you can't add you to know this that. word and say that he's talking about for a certain time unless you know that. Because she, that might just be humble yourself. No, Bri. He says, "I because will therefore they, that they adorn pray. themselves with gold it's, and jewels." I'm talking about that. He says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting in the in like manner. Also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Da, 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 da. And I don't really care too much if people want to say, well, my chain don't really cost that much. Cool. All I'm saying is seek God for modesty. That's my whole point. You should dress modestly. Yes, but, oh, but, but, you, how, but you how can you God? tell okay. somebody what see, modest but see, is? This is the problem. This is the problem that I have. We talking about modesty, right? And because of the term, I can't necessarily judge somebody else for what they got on because I don't know their relationship with God. So I can't say you got on that chain. Yeah, it's an internal thing. It's a, exactly. You can't tell somebody so else that's what you're I'm not saying. modest based off your that's perspective. What I'm that's what I'm saying. I don't have a list of that's things. That's what I'm trying to get at. You I was can. just asking questions. I don't have a no, list that's of what things. That's my answer, like. That's how I, I feel about it. I so don't I, feel like you can, if if a woman, this is all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. She can have, oh, like, I don't know, I keep going back to the jeans, but she can have I a jeans. I don't think you can tell if, if a woman's not really caring about dressing modestly. I'm not saying that you can't, she I'm not saying that say, you can't tell. Not. Maybe sometimes you can, but also it's like, is it is it your job to be like, you need to do this? I mean, I don't think a, number one. I don't think that's effective to people. Yeah, but I, well, okay, yeah, you you're right. can't tell but what me I'm saying now is, that I'm not just modest. But, I, but, but Brittany, I was gonna tell you that when you walked. A the lot of times, like, if a woman has on something like, and we talking about the, uh, while well, I'm talking about the jeans, she has on the jeans. I can't tell about her spiritual walk, but because she got jeans on. <laughs> what? You and let me and let me yeah, and let me give it. Let me give an even. Let me give an even better example because people will have on 
the most modest apparel, and that does not mean they got a relationship with God. So Yo, because of what Jesse, you got on on the outside, does not is not always a reflection like of what's said, going on on the Muslims inside. That you don't. That feel is like a you're fact. Going to heaven and that is a fact. Robes. I just like the way you, and you said, said they it give the best always, example because because you leave room to understand like. Sometimes but it does. But it's not for me to be trying to discern it's what true. day and day but and day. Just, because you got yeah. jewelry, I know you're not walking right. Because you got jeans on, I know you're not walking right. I don't know. And they adore right. And it's not even my job to keep trying to figure that out. It's things. my job to just keep giving them encouragement in the word and then and then helping them get a relationship with God. And then they take that up with God. I'm not going to be preaching somebody about And why about does the it. outward bother you so bad? Why it bothered me so bad? If you fix the inside, then the, then the outside okay. will change. Go, Jesse, so then don't, don't focus on the it. outside. But no, why that's are you focused on true. somebody else and their outward appearance? Bro, if you focus on the outside, the only thing you're going to get is somebody to change the Bruh, outside. Asia said modesty is not a synonym for obedience or humility. Humility it is because it, it lines it up with shamefacedness. And that's what um, it, you're, you're presenting yourself humbly. You're not presenting yourself in a, yep. in a flashy extra way. Like, obviously, everybody has their different views of that. But they were flashy in the Bible. But that's not They came that and God, God adorned them. Of. Yes, he did. He wanted them Brittany, to wear his God, coat. First of all, if Bruh. God did anything, it was it was modest. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold Definitely. on now. Y'all, God doesn't not right. What's the opposite though? of modesty? Vain. Meaningless. Come on. Okay. So, yes, certain things, people put so much into it that it becomes meaningless and vain. Yep. So and that's why you need to focus much. on the inside. I know, but okay. Because if you focus on that part right there. You're talking then- about ministering, though. I'm just talking about like explaining it because people don't understand how to even figure it out. What I'm saying Some is people if you focus on the outside, you will get them to change the outside, but that don't mean you'll get them to change the inside. That's why I said it ain't no, it ain't really no point of focusing on the outside because you can tell me you need to change the outside and then I'll do it. But all I did was change clothes. It doesn't mean I became a better person or I be got a better relationship with God. But if you focus on it, the inside, it does if you look I can at change the, clothes and it don't mean I'm, hu- I'm I have humility. So it, there's nothing that can I can it, that can that can be it don't mean it's humility, that could be out of fear. So it's like just because I change clothes don't mean I'm, yeah, I'm humble you're now. You're talking about one instance, so you can't change your. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anything. Don't change focus on the outside. You. I know you focus on the inside when you're ministering. No, to people focus on the no. Inside. If you change the outside, does not mean. No, no, you're you're changing my statement. Okay, what you said? I said when you change the outer appearance, isn't that a sign of? Couldn't that be a sign of loyalty oh. to the scripture? To you couldn't that cause I mean, any positive be. change? Yeah. It's nothing. It's, if I it's say, in the Bible, I'm not gonna say Bible, it couldn't, but I would say majority. Why no. does it say it in the Bible? Period. It should just have left that out and just why does it say the what? inside? Because the Bible is about the inside and the outside. Yep, both. Yeah, it's but if you clean both. the inside, the outside will follow. But why are other people? I feel like about Jesus came and focused majority on the inside. Because, majority, but see what I'm saying. I am with you, majority. But to leave the modesty completely away from yeah, it, yeah. But it you're just focused on sense. somebody else's modesty but instead of letting them get their relationship with God and let, allowing them to about change the ministry modesty. again. All I'm speaking about is what does this verse mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, it says be modest. Say yeah, but how can you tell okay, somebody the definition modest. of modest? I can read them the verse and not say okay. anything. Okay, yeah, but, but somebody hey, got to interpret it. In Who is telling somebody? Figure it out. Okay. Be modest. Modest. Do I need to interpret it for them? No. Yeah, I mean, if they, if they, to. I don't want to do that because you just said well, I shouldn't. Well, ain't that what preaching okay, is about? Okay, does the Bible give you a description of modesty? I thought you were just saying I shouldn't do that at all. That you shouldn't interpret Preaching, it. some people just read the verse. We got to be modest and leave it and go to the next part. And then they will be looking everybody like, what doesn't is he talking tell about? You, everybody doesn't tell you this, this, this. I can say discern. My opinion, my position is discern it. I read the verse. Hey, God wants you to be modest. And there's a few reasons why. Maybe I'll go into that. But then figure it out. Search God. Discern. And he will show you. But exactly. I'm telling you, things but that's change for you. in people. Things sh- I know it's for me, but things change people. Why work. did God say it in the Bible? If, things change people when they change me? clothes. No, you are you can't saying be about about is that what you're say saying about it? Okay, the so things change people when they change clothes. It's the not whole that simple, but yes, off, yes, but yes, it's possible. Oh, girl, I'm saying it's possible, but why it's would not, you change clothes for? If you make it just about the clothes, I already gave you to another or the other reason. You are changing the clothes because you see it's a sense of you got to do something, even if you're doing it sincere or not. You are changing the clothes for what? When you hear it, if you're not doing it sincere, then you shouldn't be doing it. That's true. That's true. So why does that? Why? Okay, I feel this like, whole I feel conversation. Like you're, you're missing. Wait, the whole how, conversation. Okay, but if you're doing it sincere, of, then you're you gonna be doing that because girl, of 
what the relationship you have with God. Because if you just say right. be modest, I don't know what the heck y'all just said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Brittany said. Same time. Yeah, we, we did both. Just I talk. Talk. That. That, I, my back, two ears. Back, we we, did, we, we back up, back up to where we started. The whole conversation started about Kiki basically, Palmer. yeah. Tell it basically if your girl should be basically allowed to wear. So is she your girl or not? Look like a smut. <laughs> okay, but so Good if one. you have the scripture about modest apparel, if y'all are not, first of all, if y'all are married, then that should have been established before y'all got married. Sure, but if agree. y'all are not married, who are you to tell her what modest apparel is? I, I mean, think, that's I what think good we got. For. No, no, I think we got pretty deep, and I never brought up like if we're married that that's when the conversation should happen. I never you, said it that. shouldn't that happen when you're dumb. married. It happens before marriage, and how are you gonna find that out if you don't date? So, so I'm well, that's a that's a mic problem and a me problem. I mean, I'm gonna figure mine out. You should if if her if you don't feel like that she's I'm modest, not even gonna tell her. Hey, don't go to the club. I'm gonna see if you're going and make my decision. That's true. Okay. It, Same thing with modest apparel. But that's I don't know why preference. people are thinking I'm gonna sit here and be like, hey, don't do that. Like, no, I'm gonna see what you do. Facts. And I've said like it bothers me before, but that don't work. So I'm just gonna be like, hey, do what you do. And I'm gonna turn that's another way. I, and okay. I agree. That's what. That's, that's all you can do. Now. As no, no, you I say, agree. I don't. This is not what I all want I'm for about my is wife. Generally, us loving the Word of God and ministering the Word of God in some form of fashion. What do us ministers think about this verse? Does it matter at all? It does it sounds matter because like, it's it in the Bible. It sounds like it doesn't even need to be so. in here. But we have different. And we should just focus on the inside. I think it does matter. God will make us modest. I think anyways. it does matter. It matters, but we have different interpretations on what modesty is. I mean, that's wrong. Everybody right. right. does. If me personally, and I, that's all I can go off of, right? If I, I look at, I, I say it like this. I know I'm not being modest if I'm going to, like, for instance, that little white outfit in Jamaica with the little blue all there that we couldn't even walk, look at your pictures. With the little blue on there. I don't know. I feel like your little shirt, your little white outfit. Sure, I, you I, said I, I didn't think that was mic up and Bro, put it on the stand. Your whole print. What? You remember his little white outfit yeah, for Jamaica? I don't talk about that. I ain't yeah, know nothing about that. This is my first time hearing about this. She brought that up on yeah. live. But I mean, I'd have been in gym clothes with like sweatpants and gray sweatpants. But I didn't. I that's was a the, good question. What was, is what is immodest apparel in y'all's thoughts? I wasn't thinking twice about that. Okay, let me answer it. Because I'm the only one who can. Because I'm the only bro, one just in look the at, room. Bro. You can't tell us what to do, Brittany, remember? Okay, no. But I can... This is... So for me, <laughs> if I wasn't married already, and I was to be, you know... Oh, let me be careful like with the word that I sure. say. No, I'm not saying none of their words. Mm. I, I'm, I'm going to skip the word. Okay. Just, it's yeah, a man you, in front of me. He's much, telling maybe. me... That he is my husband, that God told him he is my husband. And I'm looking at his outfit. It's about how he carries himself. Is he out here? And you can tell by a person's walk if they're trying to get attention. Like you said, the discernment. Yeah. So he might be at the gym and he might have on gray sweatpants. Or like Jesse said, he didn't even know uh, about his outfit. He didn't know how he didn't know what we seen. So I could tell that his intentions was I'm not out here trying to make women lust after me. But then there are men who purposely say, I'm going to put on these sweatpants and then (laughs) then I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it to the side of my leg so it'll show. You see when men are trying to get you to look. And if they're trying to get you to look, they want every other woman to look. They look like a cheater. No go. Well, how can you tell they look like a cheater? Because yeah. it's not how they walk. Bro, you, no. Because I'm like, I mean, I ain't going to say you can't, but bro, you know how many women get played by men? Come you, on now. You right. can't tell. But I'm saying, you don't know if they though, cheating or not. No, but I'm saying you can tell by a woman. They can play you. If she, yeah, but for real. I'm saying you can, you, you look for those signs. Like, I mean, are I they out here the trying to can. get uh, all these other women's attention? Or are they trying to get all these men's attention? Like, you can, if you're around them long enough, you can kind of see, like there's see, men but in the see, church. There's that's men in the church attention. that, huh? I don't. I don't, I don't necessarily. Want that. I don't necessarily. No, I mean you. I agree, but I'm saying you don't necessarily have to go off of what they wearing. You can go off of how they. You acting. can't really go well, off the Bible of what they're speaks wearing. against exactly. uh, flirtatious talking. But you can't. It's about how they use their body language they with their yeah. clothes. Proverbs six, I think it talks oh. about the flattery tongue. Oh yeah, about women. You talking about women doing that? What well, says women? But I mean, but I mean you, you can apply you to can, men. You can tell That's by um, if a man is trying to seek attention through his clothing 
or through his jewelry, like Jezebel. And I don't believe that you're not allowed to wear no jewelry. I think she was using her jewelry to catch a man. And I believe you can tell that. You see, that all comes back down to, though. You can have a different understanding. The heart is, to me, it comes back down to a heart issue. Yeah. So it's like, yes, you looking at, that's why, that's why they keep talking about the genes. Because it's like, if I can't tell how your heart is off them jeans, then I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be. I can't say nothing, but it's how your heart is off of what your you're doing. Body language, how you Are you walk? trying to uh, infatuate every? You know what I'm saying? It's like, are you trying to like, like how you said the jewelry? Entice somebody? It's, yeah, entice. Because that's the word I'm looking for. It's like, is that what you're trying church, to do? Or is it like, are you just looking? Are you just do you just put? God. Are you just looking cute? Then honestly, leave her alone until she get God, because. I'm sorry. It's some things you can tell from now. You should. That's your preference. Leave her alone until she gets God. But don't say that she's of the devil because she dresses provocatively because she's literally trying to get to well, God. No, heart is good, but eventually it's going to show on the outside. Because but that the means, inside, the outside will become somebody clean, right? else. But another man might be okay I with agree. it. You not. The outside will become clean enough for him. I just think you need to start on the inside, and I don't think that looking on the Definitely. outside is going to give you. But you might I be okay. I feel like sometimes we start on the outside, and he might not be okay. The pro- I'm gonna cool. tell you, the, I mean, the problem is, the problem is, we don't just read the verse; we add to it. That is where the issue is, and that's where we get into a lot well, of. We have to. We, well, not okay. I'm not saying add to the verse. We add our opinion to the okay. verse, and we tell but everybody I, that this is factual. When in fact, I it's think your we opinion. should add other but scriptures it goes because both ways, the Bible not going to contradict even itself. Preachers sit there and tell you what the Bible says because they add their stuff to it. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm not talking about men and women. I'm just saying in general what we do. I'm thinking more about preachers. We add our own interpretation and we add things like, okay, but I'm going to give you this. Men and women. like That's why I say it's not as simple as people like to make it seem like, oh, there's nothing in there to keep men and like women, like women wearing skirts and dresses and men wearing pants. I'm not saying that I'm just totally on board and I understand like I can preach this subject now. Like, no, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is I get it that there's no verse that says um, women cannot wear pants because there weren't like. It didn't exist. I think there might have been pants in a certain sense, like undergarments type of pants. Maybe. Not in the Bible days. Well, I've seen some different research on that but um because i've looked this up but they said on i don't think they're not called pants they're like long underwear is that, what that was not in the bible day. that, that was, was like in the the king of, yeah like well maybe 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 i, mean, if I don't know if it was further, in that day or not. i don't know maybe if you go back further then they didn't okay what do you say yet. adam and eve had on but this i mean that's, point. that's a little different i'm just saying like how far like yeah adam and eve and they also how do we did know things they didn't that, have blue, but they also did things that were incest, but it was not incest when they did it. So we can't go off of the certain changes that were made because if, if it's That's not that simple is what heart. I'm saying. That's why I say you look at the heart. It's just not that simple. Yes. Uh, but I'll say this. If a man comes up to preach and he has a dress on mm-hmm. and it looks pretty, obviously you're going to be like, probably not going to go to his church. If you say you're okay with that, you think a man can be masculine in a dress, then you've won the I argument. Do. Boom, done. And the only reason okay. I say that oh, is because it's men now be painting nails and can beat the mess out of anybody in this room. But no, but, okay, listen. <laughs> for real. And it's like, you will grow your what, kids up in a dress like that? What is considered to be a dress? What Come do you on, consider baby, a dress? Come on, baby, you're not doing this. I'm we're talking about you know it's a dress when you see it. Not a kilt. Not something that is culturally different. What if it's not our culture? A princess dress. <laughs> What, if your old pastor dress? get up there in a blue dress, a baby he, blue now dress, he's wearing I don't know. Pertaining to a woman. I mean, how far can you because go then? I, I'm gonna have your children. I'm can gonna wear have a dress to, and have I'm, makeup I'm on their face. I'm going to be going off of what's coming out of his mouth. All right, on a scale of probability, do you think anything coming out of his mouth is gonna be godly? I don't know. That's that's and this that my point. I have got what happened to what happened to being practical. I mean, that's when I'm going to tell you practical. I'm going to tell you me practicality. Wait, 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 wait. Me practically. Just in my own walk, and I'm not saying this is right or wrong. This is just where I've gotten to, and this is where I am right now. I feel like I have gotten to a place where I'm trying to look at more people on what they're saying and their actions, not just based on what they wear. And I can go back to this, how we went to Tulsa, and how it was like a little bit shocking to you, and you know what I'm saying? But to me, it was just like regular. There, how, but how, that's just... Would you listen to a pastor that's covered in tattoos? 
I would listen to him, but would, would I you go to my, his church? I, I would have to hear his testimony. Would you go to his church? Yeah, but you, okay, Mike. Would you go to his if church? he's okay with people getting tattoos? I can't raise my children. But how do you know that, that if you church? haven't gave him a chance to listen to his preaching? I'm not saying that. But I'm you're not going to give the man in a skirt a chance. That's totally different. It's not. You can you can just use your common sense. Honestly, well, tattoos is different because it's, that's permanent. It's, it's like about this. That common, is a little different. Common sense, you can tell it's a big deal. You have to be a little more cautious when a man has got a dress on. And say he's a manly man. Look at the culture around us. That's not a, a, it's a not, everyday it's, yeah, thing. Yeah, it's not. And yo, yo, I agree. The but I would that, just have to wait and see what comes out of his mouth. I the feel fact like we that, can use common sense. Yeah, I'm not just no, gonna. I'm not just gonna curse him down because of what he got on. Hey, yo, the fact that yo, y'all gotta realize he just he literally got up in the morning and put a dress on versus him coming with tattoos that's part of his flesh. It's a big difference. Listen, but, I, uh, I agree. I agree. There's a level tattoos. of discernment no, that listen. people because tattoos is permanent. It's like you feel like got them done. You can't do nothing about it. But what if the well, say what if a, a pastor is dealing with a sin that you cannot see? Y'all would give him a chance because you can't see that. No, it just depends on how far am I going to be led astray? How far are my children going to be led astray? But what if he's working on that? I mean, if my pastor is an adulterer, I'm not going to be at his church. He's active. Like, come but on. if I don't know, then I don't know. It's like, how am I supposed to know? There's nothing I can do about it. But that's what I'm saying. You we go don't off of knowing. what you know. But you don't know. You, Those we, that we know have more and more is required. And we You're don't required. know what they do. Those that know more, much is required. So the more you know, why this says no those that labor among you. So yeah, if I don't know my pastor, it's like, I probably don't want to be I mean, here. if he's preaching, I'm saying if he's preaching and saying that this is okay, then we know that goes against the word. You're not preaching the word correctly. Yeah, that's obvious. So but it's like if your fruits are showing some craziness, like I can judge you by your fruits and be like, hey, we don't need to be here. If you got a dress on, then I could go on a scale of probability and be like, you're not going to be the first Christian man that's going to lead my kids to heaven that's got a dress on. I mean, that's I agree. Hard. I wouldn't want I my kids let you, to see a man I will take a chance a on you on. leading somebody else's kids and to heaven before mine. 